these are both parts of the kit. This is a new thermostat and a new thermostat housing. How does it go down? Just like that. Okay, so there's a there's a tab that I think is obvious that it's the one that goes in a sort of a keyway in the housing. There's some lesser tabs that I don't really know why it needs to have them, but maybe it just kind of helps hold it in position. I think that's the exact reason they're there. Okay, and now we're installing that. Torque spec on these thermostat housing Allen head screws is 85 inch pounds. This is alternator installation. This is a Holly 150 amp alternator. The two alternator bolts, which are part of the kit, are not the same. They're both 10 millimeter diameter bolts, um, but their heads are different. Their lengths are slightly different. But the torque that they're supposed to be set to is the same. So go figure. Go figure. And I would hope that Holly had a really good reason for using two different bolts for their alternator. They probably did. This is, seems to be a very well engineered kit. What size um, Allen is that? This could be an HW6. Six millimeters is what this is. What's the torque value? 36 foot pounds. What size um, Allen wrench was that? HW8. That's called eight millimeters. All right, Dylan, what do you got to show us? A compressor. What kind of compressor? Air conditioning. What would you like to tell us about installing the Sandin SD7 compressor? That you have to put a bolt in before you actually install it. Okay. This bolt has to go in right here and be screwed in. So you it runs from back to front? It does. Okay. Then you take it down in here and you kind of turn it diagonally and you fit that bolt into this slot over here and then you bring it down and then you bring your other bolt and put it in there just like that there are some times when you just can't follow the instructions and this is one of them we do not have a torque wrench that can fit in the small space that is there for this bolt so we're doing the next best thing, which is just using an Allen wrench. All right, this is looking down from the top of the engine, the sand and compressor, air inlet, currently not with a filter. This is the bolt, that, the inside bolt that holds the sand and compressor on. Um, this is a slider right here. Can you see that? Uh, that slider is designed to go in through the, the tab, tab D, and it pushes up against the holly pump it takes up any gap we were a little bit concerned about the gap between the tab and the pump but that turns out that this is this is the slider that's designed to go in there so what you end up with is the front tab is pressed hard against the the water pump the front tab on this side is pressed hard against the water pump but on the back it's the two sliders they get pressed hard against the water pump. And so if you see gaps like this, no need to worry, no need to call Holly. It is all normal. Okay, so Dylan's got his six millimeter Allen wrench. And um, in order to get enough leverage to actually turn the bolt, um, he put a six millimeter deep socket on there. And then it's long enough and comfortable enough that he can, he can go ahead and tighten that inside bolt.
This is the 97-179 Holly belt tensioner that we're about to install. This is our bolt, but there's a couple of knobs here that align with a couple of holes in the aluminum and they do not look like they're the same size. So there's really no way you can get this wrong. This is the only washer in the kit. Okay, what size Allen wrench is that? A five millimeter. Okay, and what's the torque spec? 18 foot pounds. The next thing we're gonna do is install our water pump. It is a cartridge style water pump, which at least sounds good. I've never actually dealt with one before. But the way that you install it, there is a little hole right here, it's extra. All the other six holes are mounting holes. And there is a dowel sticking out of the pump right here. So once again, they've made it fairly foolproof. Okay, this is our water pump gasket. The AC Delco part number is 251-2065. GM part number 126-19770. It is a nice little water pump gasket that's got the extra um, provision for the alignment dowel. Just a screw in. That way, I don't have to worry about it. What size is your little Allen wrench there, Dylan? Three millimeters. And what's the torque setting on these guys? 85 inch pounds. This is a plug for the unused heater hose outlets on our Holly water pump. It says to put them in finger tight and then turn them two to three more rounds. My interpretation of that is use common sense and get them pretty snug but don't overdo it. Firming up? It is. Now these particular plugs take a 9 16 Allen wrench. And um, you might be wondering if you're like me, like why are we still messing around with Imperial units on an all metric engine? And if there's a good answer to that, I don't know what it is. <laughs> 